Okay, this is just a basic introduction to uh, Illustrator. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Illustrator from my dock, and it is this AI icon here. And if it's not located in the dock, you can go up to the finder here, just click and start typing in Illustrator, and it'll show up there. So if you just double click that, it'll open. So Illustrator is open here, and we get this main dialog box, and I'm just going to select the first one here, Print Document and I'm just going to give it a title here and I'm going to have custom selected and then I'm going to choose uh, A4 paper size and yours may have opened in points I'm going to go ahead and select inches here and these two buttons here is just if you wish your paper in uh, portrait mode or landscape and your box may be closed like this and that's just simply clicking this arrow here and you can see I'm using CMYK uh, with 300 ppi in, in the high mode. And you can just leave that for now and I'll just go and click OK. So you see when Illustrator opens you have a tool panel here as well as one over here on the right and they've kind of been minimized so if you click on these arrows you see it'll it'll expand it and the one over here on the left if we click that it puts it in like a uh, two column view so all these tools that we're using over here on the right if you go up to the window up here and I click and you see all those uh, ticks so that means I am using those ones now so I also wish to use the Pathfinder one and you see it has uh, opened in over here yours most likely is going to open in just an area here and these little tabs here can also be dragged and rearranged and if I click in this area right here I can just drag it into this area and put it in uh, any type of order I wish now once you become more familiar with Illustrator and you wish to save this workspace you could go to window workspace save work save workspace see if I click that you can just give it a title and click OK I have already done it as you can see it shows up here and if you ever have things here that are missing you can always go to window workspace and simply click basic and it'll bring you back to uh, the default setting so I'm gonna go back and select mine so I have my document here in this space in this uh, space here I can just use as a practice area kind of thing because of course if when I print it will only print uh, my A4 document here so the easiest way to a uh, to draw an illustrator is with this pen tool here and you'll notice this little triangle in the corner that means if you click and hold you will see additional tools located within that uh, button and I'm just going to simply stick with the pen tool here and all you do is just simply start clicking and it creates these uh, paths uh, with these anchor points here and it as soon as you click it automatically connects to the last uh, anchor point that you use but note if I bring the mouse up to the last point you can see that changes from a plus sign to a minus so if I click that it will disappear and if I bring it back up again you see I can add a point as well so if I just click again it it just connects again so you see my uh, path here is open and if I just bring the pen tool right back to the beginning you see you get a little circle will appear and that will close the path now as soon as you close the path it will automatically fill in with color but if you notice down here my fill color is white and behind here is my stroke which is black so if I wish to go ahead and choose a fill color now I'll just go with uh, red and right now I have a black stroke and I can change the weight of the stroke uh, right here and I'm currently using a weight of one so if I just simply you can see that will thicken I'll just bring it back down and if I click on the stroke tool here and I go here that will give no stroke so if I select that again and I start drawing again you can see it starts filling in uh, for me automatically but it can get confusing once you start to get areas like this. But I can change this uh, 
if I wish, I go up to the black arrow here, which is a selection tool, and there's also a white arrow, the direct selection tool. So I'm just going to click on the black one. You see it highlights it for me, and I can just start choosing which color I wish now, and I'm going to go back to the no stroke, and I'm going to change that uh, to black as well. Activate my fill color again, and I could even do the same up here if I wish. So when you have your objects uh, drawn, uh, you have some tools that you can use to alter them. So the black arrow here, the selection tool, you see mine's already highlighted. Now if I just click, I can move that around anywhere I want. And it's contained in this boundary box, so if I click on one of those, you can see it, it will stretch it or the other way, as well as flip it. And if I hold shift, you see I'm holding shift and moving it and it will constrain uh, the object and keep its uh, uh, original dimensions and that's holding shift and you can see if I also move up into the corner here you see the cursor it kinda changes to the curve so that means I can rotate uh, and tilt if I want a uh, good tip to always remember too is if you press command Z that is edit undo so whatever the last step you did it will uh, correct that for you. So the direct selection tool or the white arrow will allow you to select uh, individual points and alter them so you see if I, I it does allow me to move it and if I click on a double click on a point there you can see I can start uh, modifying it. So if I also click on a on a line, you can see I can move that entire line. So there are a few other tools to transform your object, but uh, the selection tool and di the direct selection tool are probably the most popular. So another way to uh, draw objects, let me just uh, erase this here, is if you go to the pen tool and if I click and then click again and hold and drag you can see I make curves and I'm just going to increase my stroke here so you can see and I can add points to this line as well I'll go to my direct selection tool and then I can bring those up and alter them I can also extend this out and perhaps change the direction of the curve. And then I'll just click in this area out here just to deselect or turn it off.